So BBC just released a trailer that is set to expose a lot of stories, dark secret that has to do with TB Joshua. Okay, you know, initially, when I initially entered of this news in the last video which I did, okay, I got a lot of insult from his followers, and I was like, "Come on, I really wonder why people are so willing to defend men of God that they barely knew." other than just watching them from the television and also getting to be in their church service some of these men of god you have not lived with them you only get to see the miracles you only get to see uh, the giftings i mean the charity work they do they are preaching you have not lived with them and you are ready to insult people to even die for them simply because of the things you get to see on the camera from looking at the trailer it seems not to be just only black people that we are interviewed okay because initially in that video we entered that they have over 30 people that were interviewed 30 victims that we are actually interviewed if you look at how sarah reporter reported it they also made mention of manipulation now talking about manipulation i also have a story of my not like i was there but i knew someone actually went there to give testimony and the kind of thing they actually forced him to do that we have to conform in line with their expected testimony all right now i don't get to talk this kind of thing here because i mean i don't have much evidence so i just decided to let go so when you get to see the likes of us coming up to speak about this kind of man of god we don't just speak because of what we see on the media most of the things we get to speak are things we are very sure of beyond seen and sometimes we don't even get to bring them up here because we just want to stick with those things that are visible or somebody might want to ask how should why should we believe should we actually trust bbc i mean the question you should be asking is this what do bbc stand to gain in this i mean the man is already dead so it's not going to cost any it's not, it's, it's not going to cost any it's not going to tarnish his living image other than the legacy that he has left behind okay but if you ask me it would have been more dangerous why he was still alive if not for anything the way i see this documentary or what this documentary could actually bring if there are some level of truth in what we're going to be seeing i think it will bring some form of deliverance to as many that might still be hooked up to the ministry okay so it's going to be a three-part just be rest assured um, we are going to be updating you as the news unfolds